You know what? I don't want to waste any time. Today we're going to tell you how we gain 100,000 followers on TikTok in just two months. Two months. <gasps> Let's get right into it. Woo! So we just started TikTok about two months ago. We're babies, we're brand new on the app, and uh, we went from zero followers to 100,000 followers Yay. in two months. That's crazy growth. I am pretty happy about it. And um, I wanna just find out a couple things, since you've been doing a lot of the, a lot of the actual busy work of like, right. scrolling and watching videos, how did, how did that happen? <sighs> I don't know. Let's break it down. We're gonna go over the top, I don't know how many, the top, top something. Top whatever. Let's start with replies. How do you go about replying? What I've been doing is I always reply to comments Always, like there's no video where I'm just like, I don't care, I'm not gonna reply to anybody. I always reply, I read all my comments. At least I try, if I have a video, you know the blanking video that, uh -huh. that got five million views or more now, I don't even know. It's always important, you should be replying to every. and I'm not, okay, not everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. Well, once you grow and you grow and grow, it's harder to reply to everyone, even though I'm trying, I'm mm -hmm. still trying to reply to everyone. So, when you have like a viral video, 5 million views, 20 million views, there's gonna be tons of comments. So it, it's hard and I mean, everyone gets it, but, but there's plenty of TikTokers. I feel like they're not growing enough because I go into their comments, they don't reply to anyone, mm -hmm. anyone. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's it. And even me personally, I went and followed people because they replied to me. Okay. Like I like their content, they are always on my For You page, but when they reply to me, I feel, you know, noticed. Okay. I liked it. And I, I think for a while I didn't understand why people um, start following me when I reply to them or people get excited like, wow, she answered. Wow, she, you know, replied to my comment. And I'm like, of course I did. I mean, it's my page, you know, I love all of you. So like I'm there to reply. Mm -hmm. But then when someone replied to me, I was like, wow, okay, I, I kind of see the point now. But yeah, I think it's, it's important for people to reply. Because wow. if you don't reply, you know, they just go on about their day. They don't feel like they're a part of your world or whatever. Next thing I think is important is consistency. Mm -hmm. Consistency. <laughs> Wait, was that a word? <laughs> Should I hold him a flashcard for it? Consistency. Okay, consistency. Being consistent. I post at least once a day. Mm. I started posting two, three, four times a day. I don't remember. Mm. Even though it was two months ago. But it's like so many videos. Right. But um, yeah, uh, consistency. You're not gonna grow, you know, if you post like once a week or once whenever you feel like it, then you... It's not, I'm not saying your video is not going to do well because I have no idea, but um, I'm just saying the growth, like the, mm. the exponential or however you say, like the, the, like the step by step growth, right. you know, right. you want to be consistent. So would you say like you want to have a video a day, at least post once a day? Yeah, I, I would say definitely like if you want to grow, I think at least one video a day. Mm -hmm. should be like a main goal okay. and I would definitely like what we do we will record on Monday mm -hmm. like bunch of TikToks right right and I don't know YouTube videos and then we have whole week we saved it in drafts mm -hmm. and I have it ready when I started TikTok I would record every day a new video uh -huh. and it gets overwhelming okay. so set a day and record a bunch of videos that way you have plenty to just you know toss out Having really a plan, you know, on Monday, I don't know, Tuesday, pick pick a day, just make videos, save them on drafts, and you're, you're good to go. I see a lot of trends, like the, like, chicken man, chicken, chicken man, man. I don't know, 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 How important is it that you have a trend video that, like, is following the, the wave of what's happening in TikTok. Like when I see a trend on my For You page and like there is like, oh no, oh that's funny, oh. another video funny, another video funny, <laughs> funny, I don't want to hear it again, I'm oh. over it. Okay. And like, so <laughs> you gotta like jump on it as soon as it happens because otherwise it's kind of pointless. Oh. At least that's what I think. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's what it is, mm -hmm. I'm just saying that's what I feel as I'm spending 
enough time on TikTok. Get the trend on the like the day that you find out that it's trending. Yeah, okay. pretty much. Don't it, wait. Don't wait like a week. No. Okay. No, 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 no. What what I notice is um, there's a lot of like TikTok gurus and everyone saying, oh, do trends, do this, do this. So I was kind of jumping on it and it, it never really worked for me, which I was like, okay. But then I checked small accounts, which I'm not saying I'm a big account because I'm not, but mm. I'm just saying like small accounts, like, I don't know, under a thousand followers. And they really were getting that hit with mm -hmm. that trend. Okay. So I don't know how it works. Uh, you know, I didn't make the algorithm, but I got a feeling that like trends, trends are either for like very small accounts or I mean, big accounts always get, you know, exposure. Right. So like it's different, but it, it never really worked for me personally. It worked better when I had like original content okay. that we created other than, than, um, trends. I'm, I'm not saying it's not good to do trends, but no, trends never worked for us really. Yeah. So uh, along with the thing with, with trends uh, are sounds, there's sounds that you can grab and like put it in your video. How important is the sound? as far as your growth? I would say the same. Because yeah. I would use these sounds uh -huh. that are viral, mm -hmm. like trending, Okay. and nothing would happen, really, okay. nothing different. Sometimes it was even worse than if I would post it with like, um, without the sound. Okay. Keep making videos, don't don't pay attention to like, oh, is that the trend, is that another trend? Doesn't matter, maybe what you're gonna make is gonna be a trend now. <laughs> you mentioned something a minute ago about community. I thought that was really important and I want to kind of like figure out a little more community. That. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's important because I'm always replying to everyone in comments. I'm building like a, you know, community. I'm trying to build like a, I don't know, safe place. I'm always trying, like I notice people who comment on my video. I, I notice they comment, they always like, they always do it. I, I see those people because mm -hmm. they are so consistent on, yeah. on loving on all of our videos and yeah. commenting stuff that I noticed them and we like, I, I don't know, I feel like it's bonding and I think you should mm -hmm. take care of your people and, mm -hmm. and and I think like there's a lot of accounts where I see they are kind of big but they are big because they've been posting 20 times a day for for two years and they mm -hmm. now have a million followers but is it really that million when like your video gets like only 2000 views while you have million followers because nobody's engaging with you because you are not engaging with them uh, it's it's tiktok is not even all about followers it's mainly views and engagement if you don't have that it doesn't really matter how many followers you have like mm -hmm. views and engagement is what's the most important so mm -hmm. you should build a community because people like to be noticed you know and like i can't imagine just posting something and I don't care. You could either have a long video or you could have a super short video. What's your preference? I prefer short videos, not only to post, mm -hmm. but to watch. Okay. And like, I feel like TikTok like killed your um, concentration oh. span, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. focus span, yeah. or how you say it. Like, yeah. You know, like I like I just read comments today on someone's page. They're like, I can't even watch Netflix movie anymore. Like, uh. it's <laughs> too long, you know, like, yeah, yeah. Ugh, too long. So, uh, I, and TikTok now is uh, starting like three minute videos. Mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna good luck it. getting through one of those. Good luck, good luck <laughs> with those. Like preference is shorter videos because okay. let's say you're gonna record a video, mm. like we did with, we do with YouTube videos or any other videos, record a video, then go back to the video, shorten it, then go back again, Shorten it again, <laughs> then go back again and cut out again things that are not necessary in the video. I would go for a short video unless unless it's really engaging till the last minute. A lot of times people will do these videos and they will overdo it just for views because the longer the view, the better, like view time. So they're gonna like make you wait till last second to reveal something. Mm. It's funny for a while in my work, but a lot of times I'm just like, I don't even care. I, I don't, at this point, you're making me wait so long, I don't even care. Whenever I see a video where it says, watch until the end, I automatically am not going to watch the end. Really? I do sometimes, because I'm I, like, ah, I've been go. burned. I've been burned so many times right. that I'm like, if you, if you can't show me right off the bat, I don't want to see it. Because a lot of people go like, wait till the end, and like, nothing happens, and you're like, 
what the hell yeah. is this like but that's not good for you either if you're gonna make like a long video and say wait till the end and nothing happens Did what are you trying to gain how important is it to have a thing on tiktok thing yeah to have a thing a niche yeah, like so. So, say if you're if you're in the news, you're always doing news posts. Do you have to have all right. the news posts all the right. time, or can you do, like stray from that and do something else? I think it's important to have your niche, mm -hmm. and everyone's gonna tell you this, and I I, I think that personally too. Okay. Because uh, even like. So if you're a carpenter, like all your posts gotta be carpenter. Yeah, because that's why people really follow you. Okay. So. If I, if I follow a clown, okay. I'm like, whoa, that clown stuff are awesome and uh, all the clown stuff. And then all of a sudden he starts posting news about fridges or something. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Top 10 fridge news today. And <laughs> I might still be like, okay, I like this too, but this is something different. So um, I'm like, I don't know if that's the content I want to still be seeing. There's the girl. Um, What's her what's her name? Uh I don't remember but maybe you guys remember the uh gosh if I no I just saw her on TikTok she's like always like okay Oh <laughs> I love her so much like whenever I see her video I'm like okay and whenever she doesn't say okay I'm like so disappointed I'm like all I want to see is okay <laughs> How dumb it sounds, but like I love it. I love it. So like, there's this guy on TikTok that uh, he got popular really quick. The uh, angry reactions. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. And he was doing all angry reactions, and people loved it, and mm -hmm. I love it. And then he changed it, and he started smiling, and people started being mad because he, yeah. why are you smiling? You should have like angry reactions and stuff. And he, mm -hmm. and he even said to people, you know, he's like, if you don't want to follow me but just like angry reactions then you know i don't know what to tell you we that helps out a lot so last thing i want to say is thing i see on tiktok a lot is people are like you don't want to follow me back or you don't follow me back i'm gonna unfollow uh -huh. and i don't know what type of hate i'm gonna get for <laughs> that because i mean that's my opinion i feel like you should follow people for their content okay and you shouldn't follow people just because they followed you. And the reason being, well, to begin with, is you can only follow 10,000 people. Okay. So it's hard for, I don't know, Jason Derulo to follow all of you back mm -hmm. right. while he has like 40 million followers. Mm -hmm. But also like, you don't want people to follow you just because you follow them. You want people who care about your content and you want people who are gonna engage with your content. Mm -hmm. Followers are important, but views and engagement is what's important. If you're gonna just go for followers that gonna bring you no engagement, then your page is gonna be dead. Mm -hmm. Like it's gonna just die. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna have followers, right. but your page is gonna be dead because they don't care about your content. Right. My tip for everyone who's like follow for follow and all this stuff, mm -hmm. no, just just keep posting good content, people right. will come to your page, you know? Just about hearing this, I think the best thing to do if you're trying to, if you're two starting TikTokers trying to support each other, is just support each other's videos. Yeah. And if somebody follows you, then yeah. cool, I'll reply to your videos, or right. I'll, I'll heart your videos and stuff. Yeah. But the actual following, it's not the end game for, for TikTok. Yeah, if, if, they, if they really want mm. to do follow for follow, just uh, go for it. Just make sure there's, you know, engagement mm -hmm. from both sides. And it's hard. Yeah. How are you going to know? You're not going to, and maybe if you, they comment, you'll see. But that's what's important. Once you gain certain amount of followers, your followers are the first people to see your content. Mm -hmm. If they don't care about your content, your account is dead. I'm curious, how did you get into TikTok? What a trip that was. I mean, to begin with, I didn't even want to have TikTok to begin with. Uh -huh. I think we all went through the same like. You had TikTok. Uh -huh. And I saw some videos. I'm like, it's dumb. Like I saw a few more like looking through your shoulder, you know? <laughs> I'm like, it's ah, funny. let me like 
just downloading real quick like i think i spent like a month or two just scrolling and i'm like ah oh, that's funny and oh wow you can learn so many things on tiktok and like i went through all these stages i'm like funny you can learn things and etc and and then i'm like oh you know what i'll make like a tiktok one tiktok two tiktoks just for fun i remember like looking at night like oh it has only 26 views <laughs> and i was like nobody wants to watch my videos and i was like sad oh. i went to bed and nothing really happened next day and then we went to like a dog park and i came back i'm like oh oh my gosh notification and i had like 5,000 views i'm like oh my god this is crazy what At the end of the night i had like 300,000 views now this video has I think almost 2 million views or whatever, mm. but it blew up pretty, pretty fast. Yeah.